are so glad that you are joining us on Good Friday. And we are taking a moment to pause, taking a moment to lay before the Messiah, to pray and lift up our incense to the Father. Today, as it is Good Friday, and we remember what Jesus did on the cross, that he paid the ultimate price for us, a price that we could not pay, as he laid on the cross and bore our iniquities and sins. What we are doing today is we are making an altar before him and we are laying our lives down, all of us here as a team on Hope Today, to pray, to worship, and to adore the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our King. So today we ask, will you join us? Will you make your living room, your bedroom, wherever you're watching from, an altar, a place of worship as we lay down our lives before Jesus? and we pray unto him. Join us for this special edition of Hope Today.
praise to the King of Kings, that King that put himself on the cross for you and I on this day so long ago and once and for all paid the penalty of our sins and defeated death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us for this special time of prayer. I'm going to ask Amy to start us off. Follow along as we follow the Spirit of God in these prayers. Amy. It is a good Friday and a holy week. Let's pray for God's outpouring, the outpouring of his spirit yes, this week yes, like never yes, before. Yes, yes. God, I just thank you that you said Hallelujah. in your word in the last yes, days, I'm gonna pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yes. So Father, I thank you today. You're pouring out your spirit upon the men and the yes. women, on the sons and the daughters, the husbands, the wives, the next generation, the young yes, kids, the yes, old yes, kids. Yes, yes. God, I ask that you pour out your spirit upon the church churches, whatever church we walk into this week, God, that your spirit is there. Pour out your spirit upon the Baptist, the Presbyterian, yes, the ecumenical, yes, the Greek yes. Orthodox, the non-denominational, yes, the assembly. God, God, pour out your spirit yes, like never before. God, I thank you that there will be a change in the atmosphere of our homes and in our churches and in our lives, that this will not be just any normal, average, mundane week, but this will be a week yes. where we come face to face with yes. the presence of God, with the anointing of God and with the outpouring of your spirit. We need you, God, more than we've ever needed you before. This I pray in Jesus' name. You know, ladies and gentlemen, if there's ever been a time that we need churches to come together, it's now. So we want to pray that God would just knit pastors and church leaders together like never before. Father, in the name of Jesus, we need an outpour of your yes. spirit. Father, we know that Satan has come down with fierce wrath because he knows his time is short. But Father God, you always have a counterpunch for everything that the devil throws. And Father, we thank you that you're bringing your churches together, that you're knitting hearts together, that you're removing competitive spirits, oh God. You're breaking down the dividers. You're breaking down the walls, oh God. You're bringing a heart for the kingdom in every heart of every man and woman of God and every business leader and every church leader, Father, that we would come together, that there would be an aggregate anointing, Father, that your spirit will be poured out upon all flesh. So Lord God, bring us together with bonds that cannot be broken. Make it a threefold cord, Father God, with you in the middle with every pastor, church, and leader. And Lord, as we come together, we thank you. There's not an adversary too big that we cannot destroy in your name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you that Jesus came. Lord, we thank you for your sacrifice on the cross that we memorialize this day. Yes. But Lord, we do celebrate because it is not just your death, but it's yes. your burial and your yes. resurrection. That because of that resurrection and because of that death, we can enter in. We could not enter into the temple. We could not enter into the holy place. We could not enter into the holy of holies, but that curtain has been ripped from top to bottom forever that we can come boldly into your throne room. So Lord, we come before you today and say, have mercy on us, Lord. Yes. Have your grace poured out on us, Lord. Yes. Father, let us see the hand of God move mightily. We've begun to see it. Let's see more, yes. Father. We pray for the move of God in our churches, for the move of God in our society, Hallelujah. Father, and for the move of God to change lives and awaken souls around the world. We ask it in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Let's continue in prayer as we go now over to Matt and uh, he's going to lead us in worship. Well, God, we just thank you that you sent your son made flesh and bone so that you and I could live in freedom today. Freedom of guilt, freedom of shame, freedom of condemnation. And so we just say we take this moment to celebrate God all your goodness, all your faithfulness. We celebrate the mighty name of Jesus this morning. We thank you. See the tomb where he lay See the stone rolled away, he is risen, 
He is risen, He's alive. See His fans, see His feet, touch His scars and believe. He is risen, He is risen, He's alive. Oh, He lives all Our Redeemer lives, and because of His ultimate sacrifice, we are able to experience His healing, His power, and His deliverance. I'm here with Anna, Angela, and Corey, and we're just going to take a moment to pray for you and your needs in this season, because we believe in this season God is going to move powerfully in your life. Anna, you yeah. start. Oh God, you know my heart is for relationships, for those families that are broken, for churches that are broken, Lord. Your word says in Ephesians that you are our peace and because of you, you can make the two one. You tear down the dividing wall of hostility. Jesus, that's who you are. So Lord, today for each one who is aching for that person that they love so dearly, Lord, I just pray and that all bitterness would break down, all resentment would break down. God, that life, I just speak life into homes, life into marriages, life between parents and their children, God, that you would draw their hearts back together in you, Lord, make that healing better than ever before in Jesus' name. Father, we ask 
for every single one who's experiencing pain in their body. We ask that healing would be their portion. We pray that even now, Father God, those who are suffering ailments, that you, right where they are, God, that you would usher in divine healing from heaven. Lord, we pray that in every way that you were afflicted, God, you did that so that we could experience wholeness. So we declare wholeness and completeness in their body, yes. in their mind, in their spirit, in every way, healing, flood, their home, their body, their temple, God, consume them. Yes. We thank you, Holy Spirit that you are the deliverer of every good and perfect gift from the Father above. And we thank you that their portion is healing in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray against the war that is in the mind, considering anxiety and fear that the enemy is trying to fill this world with fear and worry and anxiety and pain. And people are under mental health attack, God, and suicidal thoughts and depression. But God, your word says in Philippians 4 and 6, be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. God, we would make our requests known to you and the God of all peace will keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for a consuming peace that would fill homes right now in the name of Jesus. Worries about money money, worries about family, worries about all of these things that we would just surrender in your presence, knowing that in your presence is the fullness of joy. We thank you. We believe today the stronghold of fear is broken. The stronghold of anxiety is broken. In Jesus' name we proclaim. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. God. Amen. And Father God, we just thank you that you are the deliverer. And we just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that every mental torment would be broken, that addictions would be broken. Father God, that you would deliver families, Father God. You would deliver marriages, oh God. You would deliver children, oh God. You would do such a deliverance in this nation, oh God. Holy Spirit, would you move? We plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our families, over our communities, over this city, over this nation, and over this world. Let you, Jesus, be the deliverer, Yeshua, to show up and to break the chains and the shackles that hold us back from knowing our true identity, which is in you, Jesus, and you alone. Father God, in the name of Jesus, even someone who's watching right now that is having questions about Jesus has been drawn. Father God, let them know who you are, Jesus. Let them come into a relationship with you. Let them know that Jesus, that you are real, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And right now, we're going to take a moment to continue in this attitude of prayer and worship, and we're going to go to Ellie.
What a wonderful moment to join with you in prayer, to join with this team in prayer. God is good. He has good things for us. So we're going to close out in prayer, praying for the needs of, the, of everyone who's called, but praying and entertaining the presence of God. I'm going to ask Matt to start us off, and we'll just all pray. Yes. Thank you. Well, Jesus, we just thank you that you hung on that cross and thought of each and every one of us. You wore that crown of thorns so that we could be crowned in righteousness. We thank you, God, for that authority to take captive every negative thoughts, that authority to break every bondage, to uproot every lie that has been sown into our life. I thank you today as we celebrate the name of Jesus. One mention of that name shall change the trajectory yes, of yes. our lives from this day moving yes. forward. Thank we you. thank you for it, and you get the glory and honor in your mighty name. Lord Jesus, there is no place that your blood Thank cannot you, touch. There is no darkness that Thank your you, blood Jesus. cannot reach to, Father. We thank you for that sacrifice that even that person who's like, I've done too much, I've went too far, there's no, there's no redemption for me, God. There is redemption by the power yes, of God. the blood of Jesus. Thank and you. we thank you, God, that there will be so much transformation on this day, right now, in this moment, for you to be a testimony. In your name, Jesus, we thank you. Yes, God, we thank you and we push against the darkness that would try to shroud out their, their hope, God, try to shroud out your power and authority. And we speak that you and you alone, the sovereign king, would set up dominion in that space. Lord, we declare goodness from the Father of lights. We declare clarity of mind, confusion be gone, chaos yes, be gone, yes, peace yes. be still in Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name. We declare today, God, that you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise in the good, in the bad, because your promises are as good as done in the lives of those who call you Lord and Savior. They are yes and amen. And so, God, we trust you. We trust you in the days, months, years ahead. Stir up our faith so that we can fix our eyes on you and be courageous in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, that you are Emmanuel, God with us. And we thank you, Yeshua, that you are walking along with yes. us every step of the way. And so, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just declare and decree that every person that is watching, that in this season, in this day, and in this time, that they would feel your tangible presence, Holy Spirit, walking along with them wherever they are. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that because of the blood, we can declare the blessing. And so, Father, I speak the blessing over every life, over every marriage. I declare your finances to be blessed. I declare your mind to be blessed. I declare marriages to be blessed, churches to be blessed. I, de I declare a hedge of protection round about our schools, yes. oh God, round about yes. our ministries, oh God. I yes. declare Pittsburgh to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that every part of our lives walks under the blessing, the empowerment for success, and we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Father, I thank you. Not only are you the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, but you are the Prince of Peace. And Jesus, you came to give us peace. And so, Father, I thank you today that our friends and our brothers and our sisters, they will not let their heart be troubled. They will yes. not let their heart be overwhelmed, but they will experience the peace of God. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for this good Friday, Lord. Yes. Thank you that you took all of our sin on yourself. And thank you for your great love that compelled you to do that. Thank you for restoring us, reconciling us back to yourself, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us this Good Friday. And I just wanna say, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, open your heart to him today. It'll be the best Good Friday you have ever had because you will understand your reason for living, and you'll know the God that created you. Have a great day.